Hello everybody and welcome back to Vlogmas. We didn't have a lot going on today so I figured I would just do a New Year's resolution video but still take you along for the ride. Literally, we're in the car. We're going to pick up Stella from school now. I only just showered and I didn't want to film before I did that so that's why we did things this way. But I wanted to talk about my New Year's resolutions for 2023 so we can have a little bit of recorded accountability. The first thing I want to talk about is I want to finish all of the projects that I started on my house that I haven't finished yet. I want to finish all of the spots that I dug up my backyard that I'm looking at right now. I'm gonna turn the big one that I started and never planted anything in into a huge potato pit. We talked about the cost of groceries yesterday and I am so done with that. So we're gonna grow a bunch of stuff this year, hopefully, hopefully. Um, and then also there's a couple things I'm gonna show you around the house once we get back home. Okay, so welcome to my bathroom. This house has two bathrooms, and one thing about my house is it was owned by a couple, I'm assuming they're a military couple, moved out of state and kept this house as a rental property. So, um, one thing about like rental agencies and landlords in general is sometimes they tend to take shortcuts when they're remodeling things just to make them look put together, but they aren't like functionally put together. So there's one thing that I've already noticed in my house that I'm going to have to repair, and this is like one of my first home, not renovation, but like home fixer upper things that I've gotta do, and that is the tile in my shower. So it looks totally fine if you look at it far away, but if you look up close, the grout has started to separate here, and that is probably just not good. So I'm gonna have to buy some grout and fix this. I don't think it'll be that difficult, so I'm probably gonna do it by myself. Other than that little thing, like I'm not gonna nitpick all the little things in my house, because I love my house, I'm gonna talk about some projects that I've started that I haven't finished yet. And one of those was my huge kitchen redecoration project. It's not done yet, which is why I haven't done like a full reveal on YouTube or anything, but you've probably noticed in the background of my videos that the electrical covers aren't on the outlets and stuff. That's because I haven't finished painting the backsplash. And also, while some cabinets are completely done, others definitely needed a second coat of paint. I just wanted to get it all put away, and so I just hung them back up before I was finished. So this cabinet is obviously not in the best shape, but the other ones look fantastic. So that is why one of my biggest New Year's resolutions is to take on and finish a lot of my house projects. Another resolution I have for 2023 is going to be cooking a lot more from scratch. I already do a lot of that, but I want to be more specific this year to make sure that I can stick to it and pardon me while I'm making the kids lamb meatballs for dinner. Um, I would really like to make my own peanut butter next year because we go through jars and jars and jars of peanut butter. The kids eat it for breakfast and lunch most days and I would really like to make it myself because it's pretty easy. I've made nut butter by myself before and I just think it would be something that would cost less than buying it in the jar and also I can decide how sweet it is and what kind of sugars are going into it and just make it ultimately like a little bit healthier. So I'm gonna make that. And then also my mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas this year. I'm gonna put some cilantro in this. I hope the kids like it. Is this cilantro or parsley? It's cilantro. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I asked my mom for Christmas this year for a butter churn. I know that sounds a little crazy. And she even told me, she was like, you can just put heavy cream in a jar and shake it and make butter. But no, I wanted a butter churn. So that's what I'm getting for Christmas, hopefully. And I would like to make my own butter because there is one thing that I will not go cheap on when I do my grocery shopping because normally I'll just buy everything generic. It doesn't bother me, generic canned soup, generic everything is totally fine with me. But I really like and prefer and think it actually makes a difference when you buy like the Irish Kerrygold butter. But that butter is like, like $7 for like not that much. So it's really easy to make your own butter. And I know there's a lot of places that I can buy heavy cream or even pre-made butter from like farms and stuff. But I just would like to make it myself. And then I can make... Hey guys, what's up? I would just like to make my own butter. And then I can flavor it myself. I can make sweet and savory ones. I'm not giving you Cheerios, it's dinner time. So those are my cooking resolutions. All right, dinner tonight is little baby Greek bowls. So we have little lamb sausages, uh, some quinoa, some feta, some cucumber, and some tzatziki. 
Hugo. All right, the kids just went to bed and that reminded me of another New Year's resolution and that is to use my free time more wisely because normally they would go to bed and I would just go to bed as well. But I'm gonna actually do my nails. I have this little gel kit, highly recommend it. I will link it down below if I remember. This is awesome because I don't have to wait for it to dry because it's all gel polish. So I just stick my hand under here for 60 seconds and it's completely done. Like I could do this when the kids are awake. I would just prefer not to. And that's just a little something I would rather do for myself instead of scroll on TikTok. And after a few short minutes, my nails are completely done and they will stay like this for like two weeks or so. So that's awesome. But this New Year's resolution is not about having my nails done. It is not as frivolous as that. It's just about using my free time to do things for myself. Time for me should be spent on me and not doing things that are just errands. Like I am so tired of not having the kids for a weekend and spending it like doing things that have to get done obviously but just not putting myself first. It's just you get really lost as a parent especially as a single parent just doing things for your kids and so when they're gone I want to spend that time on myself. But if I'm not spending that time on myself, that leads me into my next New Year's resolution, and that is to find a group of friends. And that sounds like something that would be kind of easy, but it's really not. And I have talked about this before. I met one of my close friends here in Tennessee on Bumble BFF, and I hate to say it, but Bumble BFF is not a reliable way to make friends. It is not the best. The women on that app are flakier than the men on the dating side of the app, unfortunately. So if anyone has any tips and tricks to making an adult friend, making adult friends in general, I would love that. And it's not about having like one good friend because I have that. I would love a group of friends that want to do activities together. One thing that I will miss most about high school, I don't miss anything about high school, except for the fact that I had a group of friends that all loved each other, that all got along, that would hang out separately on occasions, that would all come together, and we would do fun things. Like I remember going, we went trick-or-treating. We were too old to be trick-or-treating, but we went trick-or-treating together. We would have Halloween parties. We'd throw birthday parties for each other. We'd go out to eat together, and it was just like if three of us got together, it'd be like, who else should we call? And we'd call the rest of the group. And I just love it. I love having that I guess now as an adult it's more of like a sense of community but I just loved having like the whole gangs here sort of vibe and I, I really miss that and I would love to find something like that again and now that I'm an adult I am like dying to entertain like I would love to have dinner parties like it's not about like everyone getting together and like drinking and going bowling or anything I want people to come over and sit around and talk about their work and their lives and bring their kids over even and then just like serve them dinner. I would love to have someone to cook for. Like it just, I would love that. And the last thing I wanted to talk about isn't a New Year's resolution for me personally, but it is a popular New Year's resolution that I wanted to discuss. And that is usually, and I'm sure I've said it before, people who are like, I wanna get in the best shape of my life. I wanna run a 5K. I wanna work out more in, in the next year. And I just want to say how proud of myself that I am and I'm like I am not trying to like stroke my ego or like talk myself up or anything. I just want to share this with you guys because I know a lot of people probably struggle towards the end of the year when they start setting these like weight loss resolutions. 2022 was an amazing year for accepting myself and not caring about what my body looks like and that's something I've I've probably not even talked about online very much. I think I've talked about it on Patreon before, but I am so happy with just being myself these days. I am so happy with everything about it. Like I'm not in the greatest shape of my life or anything, far from it. I think I'm probably the highest weight I've ever been not pregnant and I just feel so good. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I'm feeling more fulfilled. I'm cooking more meals. I'm trying to eat healthy things, things that I grew from my garden. And I think it also helps that I have two kids that now eat solid foods. <laughs> so I have more people to think about when I'm cooking. And it's just a different mindset that I was in previously in life. And I am so proud of like how far that I have come from where I once was. I haven't talked a lot about my struggles with stuff like that before, but I just wanted to put that out there for anyone who at the end of the year is like feeling bad about themselves, eating holiday treats, like don't. Food is a part of like experiencing life and it's an, an enjoyable experience and I just can't imagine having Christmas without Christmas cookies and 
just not beating myself up about it afterwards. So I just want to end on that note. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. I know this isn't like a vlog for Vlogmas, but uh, not every day is going to be wonderful and exciting, unfortunately, and I had no Christmas activities planned. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Share your New, New Year's resolutions with me down below. If you have any tips about finding friends as an older person, please let me know. Tell me how you met your best friend. Unless you met them in grade school, in which case I can't go back in time and meet more friends <laughs> in school. Which, like, I have my friends in my hometown. I, I'm rambling now. But just, like, how do you meet friends when you're a grown-up? Especially if you're a stay-at-home mom. Please tell me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.